is Chris Braswell and welcome to my world. Today I'm with Robin and Gypsy, amazing horse. Um, I want to introduce you how the horse can really pick up the deep, deep, deep inner feelings that are within you. Now, I was just chatting to Robin and as she started to brush the horse, as she went to the back of the horse, the horse, which is Gypsy's giving me an example straight away about what she was doing, except Robin was on the other side. Now, my first question to Robin from what the horse's action was, had she been stabbed in the back before? Was she needing to watch her back all the time? And the answer was yes. Yeah, so one of the first areas, if we want to move Robin, not if, one of the first things we have to do to move Robin to where she wants to go in her life is we have to work on the past and we have to be able to get her to brush Gypsy and let Gypsy stay looking at where she wants to go and trust Robin enough that she does not need to check what she's actually doing. Everything about the horse and what the horse's action does will indicate exactly what is happening inside the person who's working with it. Now even today is totally accidental us turning up together but my first question to Robin was, what's the day she was born, which is the 15th. the 15th. And we're at a property which is another 15 energy. And we're also doing this on a six energy day. So my next questions to Robin was, is it time where she has really decided it's her life, she's got to take responsibility. She's starting to take action. She's getting a whole new vision. And one of the questions I haven't asked her is yet, but my gut feeling is with everything we're doing is you really want to sort out a new way of creating a financial stream? Creating a new lifestyle. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. More than a financial stream. Right. A lifestyle. A new way where you can earn a living and do what you want to do at the same time? Not so much a living. Communication. Right. Personal growth. Okay. By so caring for someone else. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get Robin to go on the other side and what I want her to do is first before she goes on the other side to brush Gypsy, I just want her to stand directly in front and get Gypsy to work with her through the eyes that she feels totally peaceful. So when Robin goes to her back, which she's going to be working on the past, I want Gypsy to be able to trust her enough that she stays focused in the front so we know we're moving from the energy of being stabbed in the back. So how do you feel about that? Well, we'll try that. All right. First, before you go, can you just come back here? Just stand back here a fraction. It's all right, Jesse, you don't have to come. Just look her in the eyes. And what I want you to repeat in your own subconscious is you're on a new path, but really look her in the eyes and get her to feel present. That, good. Now start to pick where you want to go to your future. Look her in the eyes, get her to relax. Okay, her ears went back, so there's still fear about the future. And you don't know where the future's going to take you. No. Alright. Release it. Okay, release it. Let it go. Know that you'll be totally safe. Alright, now you've still got fearful. You look, you, you're actually looking in the opposite direction to where you know you need to go. So it's kind of like, it's like, you know you want to go here, but at the moment you might be going here, when you know you should be going here. And not tackling the problem totally on, but going a little bit sideways. Yes. Okay, so she's turning ahead, but her ears are going back, which is saying she's, she's a little bit fearful about it. No, she's fine, she's fine. She's just trying to help you get where you need to go. All right, so it's a big deep breath. Really look into her eye. self-esteem starts to come into play then the weight will go on that area yes so one of the first things we're going to do while we're working with gypsy is get that weight off okay cool now what I want you to do is now I'm gonna move out of the way but I want you to go back to brushing her but I want her head to stay here that she doesn't need back up she doesn't need out of personal space here we go she doesn't need to 
she can trust you to go to that back area. All right? So you've got to trust yourself to let go of the past. Because I think it's the past that's holding you from the future. So normally when the back area is playing up, then it will be a lot to do with the past. So I'm really wanting Gypsy to look forward now. So not so much looking at me, but I want Robin to be able to touch that whole back area and Gypsy not be looking around, not be worried. So she's looked around a little bit already. She's more interested in me, I think. But see how her head is going to the front now, whereas before her head was twisting all the way around. So we've got a little bit further with um, Robin because she's starting to realize she's got to start to trust. But five minutes ago, Robin could not brush the back there unless Gypsy turned around. So Gypsy's listening to me. But as I said to Robin, she connected a certain amount with the horse here. She started to look to where she needed to go. We touched on a couple of um, problem areas, I think. But now Gypsy's looking at the other side, but she's not twisting, worrying what Robin's going to do. How's that feeling? It's good. Can you just work with her tail for a minute? Love the tail. Got me to hold it on your eye? I thought she was holding it. Okay. All right, so what Gypsy's doing is she's changed the foot movement on the back, on the back heel. So when I was talking to Robin's riding instructor, what I asked was how was Robin's heel position when she was actually learning to ride? And Robin thought her heel position was quite good, but her hips weren't totally right. But if you look at Gypsy, now Robin's gone to the tail, Gypsy's already tilting her foot and taking her heel off the ground. So that says to me that We've really got to work on the feeling of the past and it's like Robin's ready to let go of the past, not quite sure how, but I think it's more about before she was in control to a certain extent and had some um, good wealth to a certain extent, but now she knows she's got to go things her own way and the past is a little bit uncertain, particularly when it comes to abundance or that feeling of having abundance in her life in many ways. Does that relate to you at all? Yes. Exactly. In different levels. Yeah, yeah. So Gypsy's got that back leg, so I'm always looking for that back leg and that heel. So that will relate to me is we've got to really work on that past area. So I wouldn't be surprised. Just pick that foot up on the other side. Go around the other okay. side. Pick it up on the other side. You are right? Yep. Just see if there's a stone bruise there or if it needs, just go down the leg and just see how she is on that back foot. And as you go down, go down nice and gently. See if she's tender around the knee area, yep, down. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, she doesn't want you to touch that area. Okay. Okay. That's what I would expect. So we've got a fair... And that happened yesterday. Yeah, so we've got a fair bit of work to work on. It's okay. You it's getting okay. in control. Okay. And we've got a fair bit of work to work on the past, the past in that area. The front was okay? The same back leg yesterday? Yeah, that's where I would be expecting to have a problem. So I'm just going to see if she's still timid with me as we do it. Can you hold it for a second? Yep. And, huh? and the hook pointer. Right, no, that's alright. Can you just hold it for a second for me? I just yep. want to see if she's also timid with me because I don't have any problems with the past.
Okay, so my main thing is, is support the main thing that you've been lacking in the past that you're now needing that support more than anything. Yeah, because she's very tight through here, as you can see. She's very, and here's coming through. So I would say what we need to do with you is work on this area that you've got support. So we've worked this area. So she's saying that I think is why this back area. Yeah, so you can see now she's not lifting her foot. Okay, so she's happy for me to go down there now. So, hands, we've got to work on you having support. Does yes, that make sense? It does. So can you see once I've picked up that it's really the support that's stopping you from letting the back go? Then she let me come through here and she let me go down here into this area. Okay, so there you go. Right, so what I want you to do is thumb and forefinger. So just press here and see how you can see where you're actually doing that. Let, and work with yourself knowing that you've got support coming in line. How's that fit? Is that bringing up an emotion or a tear? A little. your hand movement you start off really really well and then when you get down here you let it go and you release I want you to go all the way see my thing I'm going all the way good how's that feel now do you feel more in control yes all right go there got a fear about going to that back leg because she's checking out to see what you're doing. Yes. Okay, yeah, I know. So just, just stop for a sec, relax. Work on her neck. Okay, she's really going to work with you. Okay. All right, okay. Now, just see if you can go to her back leg this time because I think you're ready to look at a certain part situation which you couldn't at before, but I think you're prepared to look at it. Thank you. 